Hello, I'm Raymond Mayfield, and thank you so much for tuning into this broadcast today. I want to speak to you from Daniel chapter 1 today. The book of Daniel is a very interesting book. The first few verses describe the background and the dates of the events that these transpired. In Daniel chapter 1, verse 1, in the third year of the reign of Jehoiakim, king of Babylon, came to Jerusalem, and he besieged it. And the king of Judah, Jehoiakim, was captured by him, along with a part of the vessels of the house of God. He carried them to Babylon and placed them in the house of their gods. And the king of Babylon was very interested in teaching some of the Hebrew children their, their language, their Chaldean language. He wanted use without blemish, well-favored in appearance and skillful in all wisdom, discernment and understanding, apt in learning and knowledge and competent to serve in the king's palace and to have some really good positions there. The king assigned them a portion of the king's meat and wine along with other dainties. Among those chosen men that were chosen were Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Isaiah, called Abednego. And Daniel purposed in his heart that he would not defile himself by eating of the king's diet. In verse number eight, his diet included meat that wasn't properly prepared and drained. Uh, the old Mosaic law taught them not to eat that and also uh, not to drink of that wine. And so Daniel purposed in his heart that he would not do this. Now God made Daniel to find favor and compassion and loving kindness with the chief of the eunuchs that was in charge of um, administering this diet. The eunuch was concerned that his life would be in danger if they did not serve him the king's diet. So Daniel said to him, prove us for 10 days and let us be given a vegetable diet and water to drink. And the diet included was vegetables and grains and things like that. At the end of the 10 days, they looked better than the other people that ate the king's diet, which was very impressive, and I'm sure that God had his hand up on that. That doesn't mean that we're not supposed to eat meat today. It just simply means that it had to be properly prepared. Daniel 1.17, and as for the four years, God gave them knowledge and skill and all learning and wisdom and Daniel had understanding in all the kinds of visions and dreams. The king found out they were ten times smarter than all the learned magicians and enchanters who were in the whole realm that he had ministered to. They changed their Hebrew names to be the names after their own gods, but changing their names did not really mean or have anything to do with their relationship with God God gave them real names. It meant something. Uh, it meant something about their relationship with God. And the names that were given to them were the names of the false gods and everything to who they had been captured by. But they knew, knew all the things that belonged to God and they knew who they really were. God help us all to understand and realize that God blesses us today. The book of Daniel is a great book in the Bible because it connects with the book of uh, Revelations in the New Testament. They go together to tell us of things that are going to come to pass in the future, and we'll be getting to, into some of those visions and dreams that Daniel had, that some of them have not come to pass yet, but they will come to pass in the future. And by the help and grace of God, Daniel was a wonderful man of God. He was a man of prayer. He gave himself, he prayed three times every day with his window open toward Jerusalem. He loved God with all of his heart. Let us follow his example. He was a wonderful example of a Christian that walked with God. Thank you so much for listening to the program.